Good evening, everyone. My name is Natalie Hatfield, and this is my integration vlog. Among the different counselor types discussed in the textbook, I found I aspire most to be a professional counselor with a Christian worldview. As a newfound Christian myself and as someone who has dealt with mental health issues, I find my past experiences drive a strong sense of empathy and desire to help others. That strong passion is also aligned with my Christian faith and lifetime commitment to walking in Jesus Christ. While I understand my future clients may not have the same worldview as me, it is vital as a counselor to meet them where they are in their faith, whether that be in the beginning stages of their relationship with God or guiding them in the absence of any faith at all. As I continue my professional counseling development, I believe I should pay close attention to learning how to balance between my Christian faith commitments and my professional development, especially as I begin to counsel clients. Adhering to a code of ethical guidelines will allow me to successfully navigate the boundaries of speaking on Christian worldviews with clients without overstepping ACA guidelines within the counselor-client relationship by imposing my own, which is a potential pitfall I can see myself falling into. In the integration model, my views align best with Ally's model of disciplinary relationship, which states that one discipline does not need to be subservient to the other as defined in page 159 of our textbook. In my opinion, employing that model as a counselor will help best my client by presenting positive perspectives and discovering new paths to healing. The challenge to this modeling framework is the impact it might have on a client if integrated inappropriately. For example, a strongly held belief or behavior I have personally may not help my client if suggested as it fails to consider their own personal need as a client or their relationship in Christ or lack thereof. As a result, I believe the ACA Code of Ethics will guide me in offering new healing paths without asserting my values and beliefs. While this may be a struggle because I know the power in healing through the Lord, I have to look at the bigger picture and keep my future client's goals at the forefront. A passage found in our textbook on page 186 mentions that we must continue nurturing our spiritual lives as we work with people who are poor in spirit. By utilizing the ACA Code of Ethics, implementing an integration model consistently, and developing myself as a counselor in training, I feel confident I can successfully operate as a professional counselor with a Christian worldview. I look forward to hearing everybody else's comments. Have a great night, and God bless.